All right, so as promised, the goodies have arrived for the Springer. So I uh, haven't made any progress on the bars yet. I did talk with uh, Harley. I got a new brake line ordered. So that's gonna be coming hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, we did go, well, I went with a, a braided stainless. So all of the cables will get switched over to braided. I just wasn't anticipating doing it yet. So probably closer to spring or summer, I'll switch the rest of them so everything will you know, be all matchy matchy. But for now, it's going to be a little, uh, little unmatchy. And uh, oh well, it is what it is. So while I'm waiting on that to come in, we got our new lights, we got our new grips, foot pegs, shifter pegs, still waiting on the brake pedal. That's somewhere in limbo. Um, but we're not gonna do lights today. That's probably gonna be more of a Saturday project because it's doing those rear tail lights can be a little more in depth because we're gonna turn them into run brake turn, not just turn. So all LED, but uh, that's all I'm gonna give you for now. But today, we're gonna do new forward pegs, new grips. Granted, the grips are gonna be a mock-up, but uh, we'll get those on, we'll get the shifter peg on, and then we'll just have to check back whenever the brake pedal comes in. Um, I'm hoping for this week, could be next week, most likely next week, knowing my luck. So I'm gonna trot over to the bike here. And you can see these are all sorts of kind of tired and wore out and the rubber is no longer supple or anything. So we're gonna get those out of here. These, you can you can just tell, they're, they're, they're done. So uh, I'm gonna drain the brake fluid pull the cable, just get all that prep work out of the way. So that way when the new one shows up, we're all set. So it should be a fairly simple, straightforward video. Uh, I'm not really gonna go over how to pull this just cause I'm gonna suck the fluid out, break that nut loose, pull a couple of nuts in around the triple tree, pull that one and set this aside. Cause you know, I don't throw anything away, which is why I have a giant rubber made full of parts. So, then we will get the clamp back up here and that's how we'll kind of do our our mock-up just kind of get a feel for how it's going to look so and for anybody who missed the last one and you're curious these bars are off of my buddy's 17 heritage that we do see a bit of the knurling but i'm at peace with that because you couldn't beat the you know free 99. so gonna gonna go ahead and start trucking along get this out of the way and we'll check back in once we've got this a little mocked up and probably before we get the pegs on. So sit tight. Okay, so day two, it got a little bit late last night and I just lost motivation at about nine o'clock because these grips took a lot longer than they probably should have. Let's get this turned down. Uh, but they are on at least temporarily. So got a little bit of play, probably got to fiddle with my my throttle cable and my aisle cable a little bit more but that one's on looks good there's no glue on it so i'll be a little curious to see if that ends up coming loose once summer's around and everything warms up but for now that thing is on there so this ended up being two t27s and then two t25s to get all of this off unfortunately it didn't seem like these clamshells separated in half like those two did but you know, my buddy and i we managed to make do uh there was just a lot going on uh tight area four hands just not a lot of room to get a camera in there too so i apologize for that but uh brake line is missing did go ahead and uh remove that in preparation i did get a phone call today from harley that the new cable is in i just got to zip out there this weekend to go grab it. So we'll get that new one in and plumbed and should have brakes again. And I'm gonna flush both brakes, but that one, it was, uh, uh, it, it was gross. It kind of looked like you went on a weekend drinking bender and had no water. It was just gross. And there was some like silver metallic stuff just floating in it. It was, it was gross. So got that out of there. We're gonna do the rears as well. Uh, that's just not gonna be tonight. So tonight is gonna to be wrapping up what I started and that's gonna be the pegs. And come over here, the shift lever. 
And I think while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down a couple of notches. And there's a little bolt right here. I don't know what size it is yet, but if I loosen that pinch bolt, I should be able to slide this off, click it down a couple of teeth and be good because there's just a, a lot of room for my foot to be able to click these up through the gears comfortably. So we'll start with these, figure out what size I need, probably half inch, because so far most everything else has been. And we just got, let's see if I can get an angle on this here. Just got a nut right there, likely a half inch. So a nut, or a, we'll run a socket and a wrench and we'll pop that off, we'll drop the new one in. And before I get to this, I'll check back in with you so you guys can kind of see the after with the new pegs on there. So I'm gonna get to trucking. Okay, so that actually wasn't too bad. The shifter lever fought me a little bit, but with a little bit of procre uh, try that again, percussive persuasion, it came loose. So I got that adjusted. So here's where we're at now. Uh, there we go with the brass highlights. They're actually a bit of a bigger diameter than the stalkers that were on there. And they feel real solid. I mean, they don't flop around, so that's real nice. I mean. It doesn't hurt that these 9 16 nuts, by the way, are a nylock nut. So just had to be careful I didn't over tighten that so this could have a little bit of room to move around. So the last thing that's on the list here is our peg. And you probably won't be able to tell on camera, but I dropped this probably, I don't know, at least two inches. Uh, I wasn't able to count how many teeth I ratcheted down because I took the whole thing off and called it a few inappropriate names, but it bent to my will. So I'm gonna grab probably just uh, some channel locks because I don't care what happens to this rubber and loosen it up and then grab some of the blue Loctite that I've got, throw that on the new peg, thread it in, probably just snug it down by hand and let it cure. So hopefully it will be quick and simple, but God only knows. And this nut down here ended up being a half inch for those interested. So, and I, I've got a lot less travel now from my, my foot to flick these gears up. So that's gonna be nice. So let's get to tackling that guy. All right, so there it is. That's actually probably the easiest thing I've done yet. The channel locks were very useful because I was able to just kind of grab a hold of the old one, spin it off, and yet again, Harley with the white Loctite. Always with the white Loctite, why? Seems overkill, but uh, I'm gonna stick with what do I know. I did do just a, a, a dab, because a dab will do, a blue Loctite and just threaded that in by hand. Made sure I didn't go so tight that I started to you know, get this to mushroom. So that'll set up, that shouldn't go anywhere. But uh, I think that uh, really, really brings this into more of the modern time as opposed to those antiques. So next thing, as soon as it shows up, like I said, brake pedal, but you know, we'll see when that shows. But, and apparently I forgot to turn that down again. So that's about all I've got on this one. We did grips, we did pegs, we did shifter peg, adjusted the shifter, so I, I think we're good. Like I said, uh, brake line will be in. This It's already in. So lighting is in. I got to pick up some new isolators for inside this bucket because that's why it's flopping around. We'll do that and start getting this put back together and make it wait until it gets formed to go play with. But did get the new tires. New tires are here. Uh, hoping to get those done next week-ish. And it's going to take those down, get them mounted, balanced, brought home. And then they're going to go up on the workbench and they're going to get scrubbed, likely, courtesy of all you out there, with brass wool. So I'll see what I can't find here in town. Get these wheels all shined up real nice because it'll be easier to do it on the workbench than on the bike. So that's all I've got. Uh, next time, we'll uh, there'll probably be lighting. So stick around uh, and we'll have some fun. We'll see Mike Spence. Anyway, take care. We'll catch y'all later.